All right, and we're back. Another BP quarantine session. Well, quarantine BP session. Even though technically I can still play softball now, I can. We could actually play softball now. Hell, I've played two games. Uh, we're five and one, I think. Um, go ball busters. <laughs> uh, but I'm making this video because I just got a new play toy. Let's check this out. So, I think before, in the original video, I mentioned I'm... Uh, Softball-wise, I'm a huge fan of Easton. The other company I love... I don't think I mentioned this in the previous video. The other company I absolutely love? Mikan. Mikan was one of the first bat companies I tried when I got back into softball originally a couple of years back playing ball originally a couple of years ago uh, a friend of mine had a bat um, Gary um, and had, he had a Mike and Freak one of the original Mike and Freaks and bat was a monster absolute monster so I came to the conclusion I needed something a little different from the two Eastons that I have, of course, my Fireflex OG and the Fireflex 3 Balanced. Um, the, the OG, of course, being loaded and loaded with a half ounce end load. Uh, the Fireflex 3 being balanced, like I said. Um, well, the Fireflex OG, if you all remember, that's the blue bat that I had in the previous video. The FFOG is a 12.75 inch barrel. It feels great. The only real issue I have with it sometimes, if I go from swinging my Fireflex 3, which is a 26 ounce bat, to the OG, which is 25 and a half, even with the half ounce end load, it still feels pretty light sometimes. And sometimes it just feels too light. Um, but I still wanted that end. I still want that end loaded feel. The Fireflex 3 is a 13.25 inch barrel, I think I said. I don't know, the bat's over not near me currently. Well, I mean, it's close, but I'm not running over to go get it. It's too damn hot. I'm too damn lazy. Fuck that. Um, it was suggested to me again by my buddy Gary. <laughs> Dude, you're going to get shoutouts like crazy in these videos. You knew that, right? Um to get something with a shorter barrel. Gives me a more balanced sweet spot. Okay, I'm not a tall person. I don't have a huge swing speed. Sure, why not? Now I told you I enjoy hitting with Mike in. Well, that's what I picked up. A Mike in. But this is just not any Mike in. This is the Mike in Cal Pearson Signature Series KP23. This is a max load, which is Mike and Speak for half ounce end load, similar to my uh, Fireflex OG. But this is a 12 inch barrel. It's 0.75 shorter than the FFOG, and it's what 1.25 shorter, 1.25 inches shorter barrel length than my Fireflex 3. Um, it does have that half ounce end load. Which is nice because I do want that end load feel. Um, it's funny, I love that I love that Fireflex 3, but I really, really love the idea of having that end loaded feel. This bat literally just took this out of the wrapper probably two hours ago. It is a 34, yeah, 34 inch, 26 ounce. Um, so this is actually identical uh, with the exception of the fact that it's got the half ounce end load and it is um, got a shorter barrel on it, it is identical pretty much to my Fireflex 3. Let's see how it hits. If this thing hits like the reviews I've been seeing, this is going to be fun. I'm only going to hit one rack, so 12 balls, um, provided I can actually hit worth a rat's ass. Like I said, it is hot, and I know it. <laughs> and again, for reference, I am hitting my super gold dots. 
These are U Triple SA 44375s. I love these softballs. They be for most people these things are hard as hell. I love these things. Just me. God, I feel like the tee is way higher than it needs to be. The other annoyance with this, I don't have a bat knob on it yet. Well, it has a knob, obviously. But um, if you look at the end of, this is the end of my uh, Fireflex 3. It's got this little knob, bat tapper. This doesn't have one yet. It's supposed to get here Sunday, something like that, I think. So that's going to drive me nuts, but what can you do? And I do have the other two bats out here by just for comparison. I'm going to hit one rack each, provided I actually can make half worth of shit contact. So, we're going to start with the KP23. This can be fun. I can't wait for this. This can be hilarious. Oh, wow. Not the greatest swing in the world, but not a terrible result either. So. Wow. There's some drive in this bat. I can see why KP likes this bat. Kyle Pearson is a genius. This bat's a monster. So, I'm in, what, four balls already. Um, four swings in. I'll tell you what. Comparatively speaking, I haven't actually swung the other two yet. So, but from just feel, I like this. Um, it may take a little bit of time to get it hot. Um, but it's pretty it's pretty heated. Um, I do like that smaller barrel. I do feel like the sweet spot's a little easier for me to find. Mike and Freak KP23, dude. If this thing continues to hit like this, and this isn't even and it's not even broke in, like I said, this is literally out of the wrapper two hours ago. This might turn into my favorite bat in my bag. <laughs> yeah, this is this is funny. I don't feel like I have to overswing, which is great, because uh, I have a tendency to do that. I mean, I didn't even really step into that swing, and that ball got juiced. Good grief. This bat is hot.
Yeah. <laughs> this thing's nasty. Um, also, one other thing, for fair reference, this is the U-Triple-S-A stamped one. So U-Triple-S-A, I-S-A, N-S-A. Uh, there is a A-S-A version of this bat. Not black. It's, uh, basically, it's, the colors are reversed. It's highlighter yellow, barrel, with a highlighter yellow barrel and black lettering. To be honest, as much as I like the color scheme from this one, I kind of wish the color scheme on the ASA version was the U-Trip version. But, beggars can't be choosers. And, to be honest, there's something kind of sexy about flat black. I don't know. I could definitely get used to it, though. Oh, God, this thing is monstrous. This thing is, this thing's hot. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get all of that last. I mean, it may look like it because it flew back out of the net. Um, but I didn't. I can tell you that. I didn't feel it properly. Um, and it's almost, it's just like, it's almost like you can't do any wrong. So, definitely hot. Definitely, this is definitely going to turn into one of my favorite bats. Probably ever. Of course, I'm sitting here trying to drive one into the woods. I done lost one damn ball already. That was like a month ago. I kind of wish I'd have got that one on video because that one was hilarious. I mean, this thing just drives the ball. There's no... It's cool because I don't feel like... I don't feel like I have to swing hard. I mean, it may look like I am, uh, and I probably am swinging harder than I have to, but I tell you, I don't, like, this bat, 26 ounces, even with that half ounce end load, doesn't feel any heavier. It does have that little bit of end load feel, but bat through the zone, you don't really notice it. I mean, if you're sitting here like this, you know, just kind of holding it, I can tell it has the end load. I can feel that a little bit. But bat through zone? Not nah, no. I mean if you told me if you were if you blindfolded me and handed me this you know, blindfolded me and fucking put like earplugs in my ears or something so I couldn't hear. I tell you, I would Honestly, I, honest to God, I would probably tell you this is a fucking balance bat. It f swings that nice. Um, this thing's ridiculous. <laughs> this should be, yeah, last ball in the rack. I may hit the other three, the three that bounced out again. We'll see. Okay, so four bounced out, but yeah, that's that's the KP twenty three. This bat's a freaking beast. This this thing is, you know, Smash It Sports. I got them. I got it through Smash It again. Um, shout out to Smash It because they sell one hell of a product. Um, 
honestly. You can't touch what what Smash It does. This is like a three hundred dollar bat. I got I got this for like two fifty, I think. I don't even remember. And I freaking literally just ordered it yesterday, so that ought to tell you something. Let me put it this way: I didn't pay no three hundred, and that's because Smash It does the has these crazy ass discounts that they come off with for these bats. I mean, my Fireflex OG should have been like four. It was like, I think that thing pre-ordered for like 400. I spent 260. The um, Fireflex 3, of course, with that being a previous year model, I still got that for a one for 170, and it retails on most other places for like two. Their their business is amazing, and their delivery service. This is overnighted. I got this at probably 5.30 this afternoon, this evening. I don't know, because to be completely honest, I don't even know what fucking time it is. But this thing is a beast. You ever looking for something hot, nasty, and max loaded? AP23. I'm not sponsored by Mikan. I'm not sponsored by Easton. This is just one hell of a bat. <laughs> I can't I can't make that up. I couldn't make that up if I wanted to. So next up is going to be the Fireflex 3. Um, the reason I'm going with the Fireflex 3 is, like I said, because it's similar specs other than the fact that it's balanced and not end loaded like the KP23 is. Um, it's similar specs. This has a 13.25 inch barrel. That The KP23 is a 12 inch barrel. Um, 34, 26, 34 inches, 26 ounces. So this is very similar with the exception of the longer barrel. I mean, you can see that. Um, and the fact that it's balanced versus end loaded. And it's a half ounce end load difference. So, I mean, you have the half ounce end load in the mic and you have a balanced in this. So, we'll see. Um, this literally is just apples to apples kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I do have my spiders on. These are a different pair uh, than the ones I showed you before, the thin red lined ones. Um, I like these ones. The only problem with these ones is they're actually fucking huge on me. These are the correct size. They just are, they're huge. So I kind of want to buy another pair just to replace these because they fit like, I feel like I have a catcher's mitt on my hand. Um, but. I can still swing it, so I can argue. Well, that was brilliant. <laughs> so right away, I noticed a slight difference. Um, first off, that sound is way different. At, at this point, though, this bat has 150 probably swings on it versus, like I said, that KP23 that just came out of the wrapper fucking two hours ago, probably. So, Really, it, this is this is a hell of a bat. Um, 
for a balanced bat. This thing's a beast. But again, I think the biggest issue is, and I have to agree with my buddy Gary on this one, it just doesn't seem like it has a tight enough sweet spot for me. Because the barrel's just huge. I mean, the, the sweet spot feels big. Like, I feel like I could hit this, just hit it anywhere, and the ball will get somewhere. But, I don't know, with that KP23 and the Fireflex OG, I just feel like if I get a hold of it, it's gone. And it ain't coming down for a while. Actually, probably could have just teed, re teed that one, but whatever. Yeah, I got under that. Um, to be totally legit, I don't know that that ball would have actually gone anywhere. I mean, I hit it a ton, but got under it, so. Whether it goes, I couldn't even begin to tell you. felt good. That felt really good. You know, and again, I think the disadvantage here is, like I said, it is hotter than hell out. And I'm stuck, you know, only hitting one rack each because it's just too freaking hot. Otherwise, I'd be out here for way longer than the 22 minutes currently on the on the video. Well, 20, almost 23 minutes, put it that way. If it wasn't so damn hot, I'd be hitting all night. Mostly with the KP, but gotta play comparisons, you know? What I love about the Fireflex 3, first off, I love a balanced bat. I always have. Um, it's one of the things I absolutely loved about my DeMarinis, about the Demar most of the DeMarinis I ever hit with when I played baseball. Just great balance from handle to end cap. Just felt like it belonged in your hands. That's how this one feels. It feels like it belongs. The problem with that, the problem with this one is, I don't have a whole mess ton of swing speed. So trying to push a thirty, a thirteen point two five inch barrel through the zone and make solid contact on a constant feels like a little more work than it needs to be. In steps this, or this. But even this has a 12.75 inch barrel. So. But then again, when I do barrel this one, when I barrel this one up, ball flies. Don't forget, I hit one about three hundo with it, out of the, pretty much fresh out of the wrapper, in the cold. The other thing I'm trying to work on is keeping my hands together. Kind of like 
going kind of like going back to baseball almost keep my hands together through the zone and then once I get through the zone con and make a contact then let go with the one hand it's a little hard because I don't keep a tight grip with my top hand at all so Comparatively speaking, with between this and the KP, really? Um, the KP and this uh, swing wise, swing weight wise. Definitely feel similar. The KP, you, I, like I said, you can notice that half ounce end load a little. Um, pop. Uh, realistically, you can't really tell. I can't tell pop in here. I'm hitting into a net. If I was on a field, it'd be a different story. Um, but I definitely feel like the KP23 has way more pop than this does. That's not downplaying this Fireflex 3. This Fireflex 3, I can tell you for a fact, has some drive. You can hit bombs with this. I've seen it done. But the KP-23 just seems like... And this, this is probably the fact that it's end loaded, but it seems like it has just way more pop. And that's just from trying it in a somewhat... Uh... Closed off environment where... I'm hitting into a net. <laughs> How do you tell the difference? <sighs> Damn thing doesn't want to go in the net. Um, as we get into the last ball here, the one thing I will say about this, uh, about these two, the, the KP-23 and the Fireflex 3 balance, is that while they are very different bats, end load, balanced, you know, balanced, end loaded, I'll tell you, in all honesty, from literally just a few swings of the KP-23 and God only knows how many added on to what's already been on to, been tacked on to uh, my Fireflex Balanced. Stupid mosquito. Um, I feel like anybody could hit these. You could be a newbie and hit both. Um, I legitimately feel like this might be the K the Easton Fireflex 3 balanced might be great for somebody who just wants to punch the ball around the field. Don't get me wrong, you can drive it. You can really drive it with this thing. But for somebody who's just looking to slap knocks, maybe get a double here and there, maybe a bomb or two or homer, you know. Hitting some dingers. You want to hit some dingers? I mean, this this can do it. It's capable. I've seen it done. Um, my buddy Gary did it. When we went to the field, we went to practice uh, about a week before the season, a week or two before the season started. He hit an absolute moonshot with this thing. Like I said, it can hit bombs. It can hit the tanks. But you want power? These This thing? Like I said, I've only hit 12 swings. I've only got 12 swings on this. This thing feels like I could hit this a mile. And, you know, comparatively, I haven't hit this yet. This being, you know, my Fireflex OG. Comparatively already, they have a similar sweet spot. Maybe, I mean, the KP-23 is a little bit smaller, but that's because it's a .75 inch shorter barrel. But pop-wise, 
Let me tell you, the KP is one of those bats where I feel like if I square it up, it ain't coming down anytime soon. But it's hard to tell because I'm hitting into a net instead of, you know, on a field. So that's my rack for the uh, Fireflex OG or the Fireflex Balanced, three, the Fireflex Three Balanced. Um, Takeaway in the comparison of those two is legitimately. I don't care who you are. I don't care how big you are. I don't care if you're male female, whatever. Honestly, if you're looking for a good bat, just from what I've swung out of those, out of the KP23, and of course, whatever I just tacked on to the Fireflex 3, it, I don't think it matters. You could anybody can pick up either one of those bats and just go to town they're just that they're just that good now, this is going to be interesting because this bat is a half ounce lighter than the other two it's not supposed to be it's actually supposed to be a half ounce heavier but i'm not complaining again it is end loaded um the one thing i don't the one thing i like about this is also the same is also the one thing I don't like about it is even though it's end loaded it doesn't feel it this swings very much like a balanced bat um, and I absolutely love that because it gives me confidence that I can just hit it hit the ball wherever at the same time though when you look at something like the KP23 with the end load in it, this feet this has that end load feel, but it doesn't swing heavy. So I kind of wish this the Fireflex OG was a little more similar. The FFOG was more similar to this because. And like I said, I haven't swung on this, swung with this on the camera yet, just now, you know, for this rack, or for this go. This, I, I tell you, the KP23 is, that thing is a monster. I don't know what the hell that was. So, right off the bat, I can already tell the swing weight difference, um, or, you know, the, the physical weight difference, not necessarily just swing weight. Um, this, like I said, this is a half ounce lighter, and even with that half ounce end load, it does, it, fe it still feels, going from those 226s to this, it, just, it feels too light. I feel like I'm swinging out of my shoes with it. What I love about this bat, though, is this thing is hot. It, this, this is hostile. This is one of the absolute hottest bats I've ever hit with. KP23, while it's definitely uh, a beast, considering it's not broken in yet, and it's still pretty damn hot, this could be interesting. The rest of the season should be real fun.
I've also been working on my approach a little at the plate. Um, courtesy of a guy who used to swing Easton, now swings uh, Anarchy, uh, Luis Reina. Luis Reina. Uh, he's a little short dude. He's about my size. Well, he's my height, probably. Um, definitely more built, more well built than I am. But he's he's got a, he's got that small frame, small size. Where I watch him and I learn, I'm able to easily pick up. Okay, this is what he's doing in his swing. How can I incorporate it? So it's definitely a hell of a change, and I can definitely tell the difference. Purposely trying to go off the field there. Um, something I haven't done yet. I think. I, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I did. I did once. So far in league, I've gone off now. Um, nothing special. Just a you know, simple base hit. The one thing um, I'll say with the Fireflex OJ, the FFOJ, uh, what I like about it, interestingly enough, is what pop this thing has comparatively to the other two feels a little more... Um, instant in the hands I feel like this bat actually has a little more you know handsy for me in my hands I feel a little more you know pop but again this one is basically broken in this one is out of the wrapper for two hours and has now 12 swings on it so yeah who knows I could be blowing smoke up my own ass. I don't know. Oh, wait. I don't know why I even tried to throw that in there. There's still balls in that bucket. Granted, there's only one, one ball in a bucket now, but still. This is, this is still a hot bat, and while I absolutely love my Fireflex Balance, my Fireflex 3, if I really needed to crank one, and I didn't have the KP, this would be my bat. The Fireflex OG, the FFOG would definitely be my bat if I needed to absolutely crush one. So that's that. You know, the KP-23 is definitely an interesting beast. Stick around. I'll have more eventually.